Well, what a way to open the 2022 F1 season. Hey there, folks, welcome to this video. This is just going to be a quick reaction to the Bahrain Grand Prix. And, well, let's start off with talking about the end. And the end of three power units, by the looks of things, for RB powertrains. <laughs> it looks like, and I hate to sound mean, it looks like they picked up those 2015 Hondas with the kind of way that their reliability is. In terms of performance, it's there. But why they had two power unit failures for the Red Bulls, and what I believe is probably that because it's likely electronics for the Alpha Tauri of Pierre Gasly, I don't know. And the fact that they can't survive 300 kilometers without shaking themselves apart on race day, I mean, Paris is rear diff locked, isn't it? And that's a failure we haven't seen in F1 for quite a while. So that that is a real problem for RB powertrains to have to deal with. So, I think if you're already starting there and you're just building up the reliability, it's better than the situation that the Mercedes-powered teams are finding themselves in today. Out of the finishers, well, both Astons, both Williams and both McLarens were the bottom six. The only Merck team that was scoring points was Merck, who got well, what we have to be honest is a lucky podium for Lewis Hamilton after the two failures for the Red Bulls, and fourth for George Russell, which a good Start to his full-time Mercedes career as his best finish of Mercedes. But you would have been hoping for something more. The strategy just didn't seem there either. Like, they they went onto the hard tyres, whereas Red Bull and Ferrari didn't, and Hamilton locked up, and Russell didn't have the performance. So Merck, they have a lot of work to do, and it looks like the power unit could be part of the issue. Because, just look at the other Merck-powered teams. I know... McLaren and Williams got their brake issues and Aston seemed to have been a bit lost since they became Aston but it's it is a real concern what isn't a concern though is if you've got a Ferrari power unit in the back of your car because Kevin Magnussen fifth on his F1 return sure he could have find turn one a couple of times but he's got to be happy with that and Valtteri Bottas P6 for Alfa Romeo they're going to be happy with that being the Book opening and Jaguar Yu with P10, Mick Schumacher and P11. So the Ferrari power unit looks like it could be the one to have this season. As for the Renault power unit, the only other one that we've got, uh, Ocon P7, Alonso P9, good races for them. Well, apart from Ocon picking up a penalty for attempting to uh, kill, who, who was it that attempted to kill Mick Schumacher on the first lap? And Sonoda in eighth. And that's got to be a good argument for him, opening up the book. Is, ugh, I mean, he was a sole RB powertrains finisher, but P8, it's a good job for him. Points at the opener for the season. But overall, lots of good stories to have. Some concerns for about half the grid, but uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing what the rest of the season's got. On that note, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.